Hi, my name is Edgardo Giron. I was wondering how I can grow in faith as a student here at St. Thomas. So I sat down with William Gonzalo, a music major here on campus, who is also part of our campus ministry praise and worship team. In this episode of Bold, we're going to dive deep into his love for music and how it has affected his faith. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and YouTube at Mac Studios UST to stay in the loop and get a behind the scenes sneak peek at everything we're working on. Now, let's jump into this episode of Bold with Ringo. Welcome guys, we're here with Ringo. We got the musician artist of St. Thomas. Ringo, tell us a little bit about yourself, Ringo. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Rafael Inigo Banto Gonzalvo. Uh, Rafael Inigo being my first name and condensed Ringo. So tell us what you do, tell us how you're involved on campus, what's your major, just a little quick summary. Yeah, um, so I'm currently a sophomore here at the University of St. Thomas. I'm a music major and um, I'm currently working at uh, Residence Life here as well as Symposium. I was an orientation leader and um, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, great, great. So you said you're part of music here, right? Mm -hmm. What? When did you start with music? When did you start getting involved? When did that spark something in you? With my parents being in choir, um, the church choir ever since I was a kid, um, music has, I've grown up around it and it's always been a part of my life. Okay. Yeah. How did you get into choir in high school? I wanted to go into art to become a comic book artist right, like right out of elementary school. And it was in sixth grade when um, I transferred schools that it turns out the art, like it turned out the art program was actually full, which is unfortunate. It was very unfortunate. I was uh, really bummed out about it. And the only thing that was open was choir. Mm -hmm. um, so I go into choir and I end up loving it. And it wasn't until my senior year that I decided I wanted to do music. Music, yeah. okay. You did music all throughout your high school career. Mm -hmm. Was there any point where you did a competition? Yeah, actually, um, I competed in the TMEA All-State audition process. Um, basically what it is is a um, multi-tiered like audition process in which you compete against other musicians um, in, your, um, in your grade level as well. You can compete in band, orchestra, and I decided to compete in choir. It was a really incredible experience finally being able to make it, um, not just because the audition process itself was rigorous with the multiple stages, um, but just being able to be surrounded by so many other extremely talented musicians and just masterful minds. Um, it was there actually that I had decided that I wanted to major in music. Because just being surrounded by all of it and just being able to work with all of these people in this gigantic choir filled with people my age that were way better than me, just like, it was just a rush. It mm -hmm. was a rush. And um, that was just something that I wanted to keep chasing after. Yeah. Like it was midway through the convention uh, in one of the rehearsals where I was like, this is what I want to do, yeah. right? Like there was a constant drive for me to do better, to stay at my A game through the rehearsal, <laughs> not zone out, not slack yeah. off. I was like constantly being pushed because I didn't want to hold the other people in my section behind because it was a gigantic choir of like 200 plus of the best high school singers in across all of the state of Texas. Yeah. And um, it was just, it was just incredible. I bet, I bet yeah. it was. It was just all these people there, you performing in front of who knows how many. Um, it was actually really funny because once I had told my parents after the convention that I wanted a major in music, they revealed to me that in sixth grade, when I was forced to join choir, um, they revealed to me that like, even if art was an option that was open, they would have still pushed me into choir anyways. They would have forced anyways. you into it. <laughs> yeah. like, you're in choir no matter what, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's good though. I mean, you got it, you love it. It's amazing. And yeah, and I'm, I'm loving it every single day here mm -hmm. at UST. So with music, there's a lot, like music is a very, it's a very big subject, you know, there's music in all aspects. What do you want to do with that degree once you graduate? Yeah, so um, I'm hoping that someday I'll be able to perform with the Houston Grand Opera or the Houston Symphony, and then, um, or really anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere that calls me. Um, if it's somewhere in like the classical scene or even just in the uh, litur liturgical scene as well, you know, just if someday I'm singing or managing a choir, like I wouldn't mind that as well. Okay. And then maybe sometime down the line, um, teaching okay. at uh, any level. Any level? Yeah. Okay. So performances. I know that you went to the Filipino Festival. Do you want to expand on that? It was 
incredible being able to perform there. Um, I'd say it was probably my biggest, uh, yeah, my, like the biggest venue that I had performed at up until that point in my life. Um, it was an entire just like the field of a baseball field just packed <laughs> with Filipinos. Okay. And I was on the big stage on the Jumbotron as well. And I had prepared two songs and I was like panicking because I was like, okay, let's not forget. Um, the two songs I had prepared were um, Glimpse of Us by Joji, as well as Just the Two of Us by Bill Weathers. Mm. And <laughs> I definitely forgot my lyrics. I was singing Glimpse of Us, standing there with my guitar in front of the microphone, plugged in, and I got to like, she take the world off my shoulders. Okay. And then I forgot it. And then I was like, and then I was like, okay, wait, remember, remember, remember. And then the audience was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. I was like, okay, yeah, just like a little tear. I'm, little I'm fake definitely, tier. yeah, yeah, a little, little fake tear, right? Get them in the feels. Um, then I locked in. and I was like, okay, I got it. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here at UST, you play with a group here, don't you? Mm -hmm. I perform with Amanda and the Praise and Worship team okay. at Campus Ministry. That's so nice. So speaking of Praise and Worship, we're actually going to go join the Praise and Worship team right now with Ringo, where they're going to play a couple songs for us. Thank you so much, Edgardo. Now we are here in Campus Ministry, and Ringo is going to play a couple songs with us with the Praise and Worship team. Ringo, what is your favorite part about performing? 
Um, I say just having all of the like preparation that went into um, just learning the songs, all of these things. I'd say that was that's one of my favorite parts, just having it all pay off, having something to show for your practice. Yeah, absolutely. And what is your go-to song to perform? Uh, Everything by Michael Bublé, actually. Love that song. Love that song. <laughs> awesome. All right, now we're going to go back to the studio. And we're back. Moving on. So praise and worship, you know, campus ministry. I know you're involved with that. How was, how was your faith life with music? How do you mix that in? Um, the saying is that singing is like praying twice. And I very much believe that, right? Um, that's something that I've been learning more and more about as I sing here with praise and worship and then also at the chapel. Um, but that's actually not something that I had discovered until near the end of my high school. I had never really understood the faith, right? I had also never really understood music, right? Um, it was, both of them were something that I did, but I never understood the depth of it, right? And what it really means for us, right? As humans, right? Uh, not just in the faith, but also just in, in our minds, right? How big of an impact just going to mass or singing a song has, right? So, be, so you were surrounded by the faith this, your whole childhood, right? You were in the choir over there. Your family always had you in the choir practice for the church. What are your tips for people that want to discover the true meaning of like going to church, taking the like, like, like Eucharist? Um, honestly, this is going to be a shout out to campus ministry, really. Um, one of the most transformative experiences that I had throughout my high school career was um, one day going to a youth group at my home parish, St. Faustina. Um, I went there one Wednesday night. Uh, my parents had urged me to go because I was going through just a rough patch in my life. And um, yeah, I didn't really know where to turn to next. And my parents urged me to go there. And it was there that I had discovered that there are so many people that are my age that are as involved in the faith as I thought, like was impossible for someone my age, right? And I'd say you can get the exact same experience and more by just passing by campus ministry, right? Introducing yourself to people, meeting new people, um, whether it be during a regular day or going to any one of our events, right? Um, say like a praise and worship event or um, cops and coffee, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good way to just meet people who are involved in the faith, but also going through the same things that you struggle with, um, that we all struggle with being here in college, yeah. right? No matter the major, no matter what uh, background you have, no matter how experienced you are in the church. You mentioned that your family was always involved with the church and the choir. Were you always involved in your faith? So, yeah, um, I'd say mass and the faith was just something that was very regular in my life. Um, because just in the Filipino culture, and I'm sure like Hispanics also share yeah. this as well, the church and the faith is a very standard part of our culture, right? It's just, it is something that is regular, right? Um, but, I ne but because it was so regular, I never actually really understood. And being here at the University of St. Thomas, there's just so many people that I'm now closer with who are now cl very close in the faith and with God. And um, yeah, I'd say like if there was anyone out there who shares that same experience that I have, where you're just going to church, you're going through the motions, uh, but you never really understood it and you might've fallen out with your faith or you're maybe trying to dive deeper or learn more about it, um, just come to campus ministry and yeah. meet people because most likely there are more people who have gone through the same thing that I went through. So going back to what you said earlier, you were majoring in music. What is, for people that don't know, what does it look like to be a music major? Um, a lot of time in a practice room, actually. Just like banging my head against the wall in front of a <laughs> piano trying to learn a piece. Right now, uh, I'm taking a lot of music theory courses, right? Um, just learning how music is written, how it's structured, as well as how it works. And um, also just learning how to perform, 
right? We are learning a lot of different songs in different languages, um, composed anywhere from the years of like 1100 all the way up to 1900, right? So a lot of music to cover, but um, it's just brilliant just being able to go in and see what these composers were doing and what they were thinking. And yeah, just being able to portray that out loud. So being here at St. Thomas, have there been any like special opportunities you've been given being involved in the music program here? Is there anything special that stood out to you? Yes, um, I've been learning under the brilliant mind of Dr. Brady Knapp. Um, and through him, through this music major, um, I've been given a lot of opportunities to sing with other choirs and perform with um, other musicians all around the Houston area. Um, just the other, just last semester, I was able to sing with the um, the choir at the Co Cathedral. We're able to sing and perform at so many different places all around Houston. Yeah, I, I've been introduced to many other singers as well as directors, um, given different job opportunities to sing here and here, uh, different parishes. And yeah, I, I honestly think it's been very enriching, very enriching, because there's so much more to music and there's such a big scene in Houston that, um, yeah, I'm now able to see being a music major. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Ringo. Thank, thank you, you for, so much for having me, man. No problem. You know we love you here. You know, thank you, and thank you for everybody who's watching. And stay bold, my friends.